Congrats on the movie. Thank you so much. So your first acting role, you're the starring lead in a movie. Yes. Um, all sorts of feelings, I guess. Um, I'm super nervous for people to see it um, because it's my first time acting. I've seen it already and okay. I don't necessarily like watching myself um, on a giant screen or speaking, listening to myself. But I mean, it was really challenging and I think that's what I enjoyed most about it because it's something different that I had never done. I'm so used to, I'm used to being on stage yeah. and like dancing and this was just such a different experience. So I think that was kind of my favorite part, but I'm, I'm not so much nervous or I'm more excited for people to get to see me in a different light, I guess. Exciting. Yeah. So how did they first approach you for the project? Uh, the story's kind of fun. Um, John Swetnam, the director, found me on YouTube. Um, he saw me dancing on YouTube, and then there's a couple of videos on YouTube where I like dance act, I guess. Um, and he said he saw me dance, and he knew that he wanted me to be Casey. And I mean, that was that's my story. Yeah, he called me and said he wanted to meet. I was in Vegas at the time, and I had a day off. I flew in to LA, met with him, and you know, I. I I had to go through the auditioning process yeah. just like everyone else, but I knew that I had John behind me and pushing for me, and I think that even helped me because I don't think I would have gone through with it if I didn't have I'm his support. With, uh, so I, I guess I, I mean he, I mean he had faith in me and he saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. That's awesome. Yeah. So how did you prepare for the acting? Because obviously you've got dancing on lock. Yes. Um, it was so different, but they, I met with an acting coach, and he was just amazing. He really helped me figure out how to act without looking like I was acting. Um, so that was really my prepping. It was just with an acting coach, and memorizing lines weren't really that hard. Uh, I like to memorize songs a lot, and so... Yeah, and like even like my favorite movies, I can quote, you know. So like Mean Girls, like I know every 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 line, every yes, line exactly. to Mean Girls. So I guess that's like you know that's the easy part. But it was it was hard to figure out how to feel things without um, acting, looking like I was like trying to feel them. So, but that was like my prepping process, I guess. You're gonna be a big movie star. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we'll see where it goes from here. This is a really good stepping stone for me, though, and I never even thought I wanted to act until I started, and uh, it was it's definitely a newfound love for me. And you've danced for literally Britney, Beyonce, Katie, every single pop star. Is there one person that you still haven't got to dance for that you're dying to? I have never danced for Janet, I guess. Um, I would love to yeah. dance for her. I mean, she just seems like she loves what she does, and that's the best thing about working with an artist, is if they're excited about it, about the project, then it makes you more excited about it. And, you know, some people who just kind of like go through the motions, you're like, well, I guess I'll go through the motions with you. But Janet seems like she's like just so on it and she like loves what she does. And I feel like I would love to be around her energy. What pop star was, were you the most shocked that was like the nicest or different? Um, to be honest, Neo okay. for me, like Brittany, I, I love, and I've worked with her for so long and she's just so sweet, but Something about Neo and Nick Jonas is the same way, actually. They come in and they say hi to everybody and they just appreciate the fact that you're there working for them, you know, and you're there to help them and help their show. And that's so important as, I mean, a dancer, you go in and you, you as a dancer, you do the most work, like physically and you're just like there and you put in the most hours and to feel like somebody appreciates the fact that you're there and working for them, it's, so Neo and Nick Jonas were like, my faves. Is it hard to keep your cool with Nick Jonas there? Because I feel like I'd be freaking out. <laughs> you know what? He's so shy and so respectful of like because he has girl dancers and we're like all in like little like underwear and bras yeah. and dancing around in heels, you know. And he's just so respectful and like so I I don't know. I didn't I didn't really freak out because I thought maybe he'd kind of be more of like yeah. a like machismo like yeah you know he's so not and so it's so much easier to be around him and not feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's a safe working environment. Yes, it is.